Hi, my name is Daniel and I was born in Italy and I always lived here in the north part of the country. Both my both parents, they are uh, Scandinavian uh, from two different countries. My mom is Finnish. Uh, her, her family is from Finland, uh, from the Swedish speaking Finnish people. Uh, maybe some, someone knows already that in Finland they have two main languages. Uh, my uh, mom's side uh, came from come from that path, Swedish path, and my dad um, is from Denmark, from Jutland, the long peninsula of Denmark, uh, <coughs> in the east center central part of that peninsula. And uh, I decided to do that that. Um, DNA test because I'm because I've always been very interested about uh, human uh, migrations and uh, genealogy and genetics DNA and what's hidden behind our uh, DNA. And uh, my friends knows that and some years ago they decided to buy me a kit, a, ge a genographic project kit. And now they have chosen the name and it's much more better than, than it was, than it were. But uh, now it's named uh, about, I think, Gino 2.0 or something like that. But uh, say that, say that. Now we, we, we are going uh, straight to the results. I'm, I am 49% Northern European, 31% Mediterranean and 15% Southwest Asian and 2% Northeast Asian and the last 2% Native American. Now we are going to explain that a little bit. The first, the, the, the um, half part is Northern European and it's an, now uh, you can find the highest frequency of that component in uh, uh, people from UK, Denmark and Finland, Russia and Germany. And this component, as they write here, is likely the signal of the earliest hunter-gatherer from of Europe, uh, who were the last to make the who make the transition to agriculture as it moved in from the Middle East during the Neolithic period around eight thousand years ago. Then I have thirty-one percent Mediterranean, and now uh, you can find this component in people from uh, southern uh, Europe and Levant like Italy, Sardinia, Lebanon, Greece, Egypt and Tunisia. Uh, this component is, is the signal of the Neolithic population, population expansion from the Middle East beginning around 8,000 years ago. Then my 15% Southwest Asian, Asian are found today in uh, India and the neighboring population like Taj 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 Tajikistan and Iran. And it's also found in Europe as you can see, and North Africa. Uh, as with Mediterranean component, it was likely spread during the Neolithic expansion. Uh, and they also write individuals with heavy European influence in their ancestry, ancestry will show traces of this because all Europeans have mixed with people from Southwest Asia over 10 or thousand of years. Then my Northeast Asian part is very interesting because uh, now the, now you can find it in uh, Japan, China and Mongolia. 
in the highest frequencies. But in Europe, you can find it in Finland, uh, from 5 to 10% of the Finns have it, and it's likely introduced by the migrations of Sami people. The, they live now actually in, in, in uh, Lapland, in, in the north of Scandinavia. Uh, when they ca came to, to Scandinavia from Siberia uh, over the past 5,000 years. And then my Native American um, is found is at the highest frequency in the population of the Americas, North, Center, and Central and South. And it represents a signal of the original settlers of North and South America who arrived via the Bering Land Bridge between 15 and 20 years. 20,000 years ago. The only place in the world where it is found outside the Americas at the frequencies of 2-3% is in the central Siberia and Mongolia, uh, the, le the likely place of origin of the first Native Americans. And that's all. No, I, I can also tell you my... Um, Y chromosome upload group from my dad's side it's I Z63 and my mom's mitochondrial DNA it's it's a T one A one and I've got also two percent of Neanderthal and a zero point one Denisovan it's a, it's another very old human uh, we are related to that's all and thank you for watching bye